you would like to see the simplest skincare routine in the history of skincare routines, it's maybe not that simple. I'm gonna walk you through my really simple, really easy skincare routine 2023 update. I have tried and honestly reviewed hundreds of skincare products in the cleaner, greener space over here. I don't really do skin cycling. I just really have learned for my skin that simpler is better. So I have combination skin, I have mature skin. It's a little bit dry right now. It's sensitive, but it's not overly sensitive. I just want you to have a sense of the profile of my skin because that's going to also impact how you should view the products that I'm recommending today because what works for me might not work for you. Let's kick it off with the cleanser. I love a cleansing balm. I've been using the True Botanicals Ginger Turmeric Cleansing Balm for probably a year now. They initially sent me a sample I have repurchased on my own a couple of times. I love this because it gently removes everything from my face. I use the saddest looking washcloths that I just boil over and over again. They are not fancy, but I rinse and reuse and boil them and use them again to get all the bacteria off. Sometimes I will double cleanse, but I usually don't need it. And the washcloths are actually a really important part because they're not really thick or nubby. They're actually pretty thin and soft. So they're not exfoliating more than I would want to have anything exfoliated. So that's kind of a key. I use warm water, never hot although sometimes I've used hot, but I love that there's AHA in here, so there's a little bit more skin exfoliation, but it is not at all intense or aggressive or abrasive. My skin never looks bright red after using it or anything like that, so I love this as a first step for cleansing and just rinsing away the day. I've tried so many different serums. I have tried retinol, and it has irritated the crap out of my skin, and I know it's a whole process. I am considering using it again, I just want to add that little caveat here. There's not a ton of, I hate this phrase, by the way, anti-aging, pro-aging well products in this mix necessarily. It's just to nourish and boost the skin. I have liked the Maya Chia Straight A Retinol. It's been really nice. I've tried Bakuchiol's, like the Herbivore. Currently, those really aren't doing as much for me as they used to, so I'm not really in that mode. But if anything, I might go back to something that's a gentler retinol because I do see the resurfacing results there sometimes. I hesitate on that. And instead, I like to use the True Botanicals. I know this is all True Botanicals, but, but that's just the way it is right now. The Chibula Immunity Serum. It's really calming on my skin. It just evens it out. It chills it out. My skin is very happy when I use it, and I can tell when I don't use it. That is the biggest determining factor for me when it comes to skincare. I give these products plenty of time because things can change, but this combination seems to be working really, really well. And the serum is just really lightweight. It's not sticky, it's not tacky, it doesn't smell crazy. It just does its thing and I love it. And more importantly, my skin really responds well to it. But if I do incorporate a retinol or a retinol alternative into the mix just to give it a try, I will go very slow there because I've kind of burnt myself in the past with that and hyaluronic acid which I do not use hyaluronic acid right now. You will not see a vitamin C serum in here. I just haven't been using it because my skin's not happy when I use the ones that I've tried. So they're not out completely, but if I do incorporate them in, you'll hear about it on the channel, but for now I'm just keeping it simple. And then the last step that I like to use, this is a nighttime skincare routine. In the morning, it's very minimal. I wake up, I put warm water on my eyes just to wake myself up, that's it. Then I will do my thing, my morning routine, my smoothie. I'll come over here, I'll do some gua sha and use a lightweight oil for that. Something like the Typology face oil is great. Yes, True Botanicals has a beautiful face oil as well. I will link both of those below. And if I need it, I'll use a little bit of extra lightweight moisture in the morning. But at night, I really loved using the Dam Dam Mochi Mochi Cream. That was out of stock. So luckily, it led me to find something else, which is the Skin Fix Barrier Plus. I had somebody on the podcast who's a holistic esthetician, and she recommended this. So I was like, okay, I checked it out. I looked around. This is refillable. I'm very happy about that, but there's a lot of plastic. It's not perfect. So I started using this, and I saw okay results, but now I really, really like it. What I'm seeing mostly from this is the moisture. It's lightweight. I would say it's actually more lightweight than the Mochi Mochi cream that I mentioned, but it moisturizes just as well. So my skin, when I go to bed with this on and then I wake up the next morning, it feels still moisturized. If I take a shower in the morning, I can still feel it. It sticks around 
but it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel greasy, it doesn't clog my pores, and it doesn't break me out. I do feel like it's helping to repair my skin because I was trying all of these skincare products because they send them over to me. PR will send products to me, and I was like, yeah, more reviews for you, but it was really damaging my skin barrier, and yeah, I had to just kind of pump the brakes there, so give my skin a little bit of a rest. And this cream has really been nice for me. If I need it in the morning after I wash sha or something, well, I would use it before that actually, and then put oil on top to really lock it in. Then I'll use a little bit of this in the morning, but I, I really haven't found myself needing it at all. I've tried a lot of eye creams. I think a lot of them are primarily BS. I really like to just put moisturizer under my eye. I think there are eye creams that are effective, but they usually have a higher percentage of actives in there in my experience. I haven't tried a ton because I don't use a lot of heavy duty stuff on my face right now. So if I do, I will mention them to you. But so far, I really don't have an eye cream to share with you that I like, honestly. Lip masks. I do like wearing lip balm overnight. Do you need to buy the Alpine lip mask that I'm obsessed with? Link to that will be below. Absolutely not. You can use something like an Aquaphor. That's totally doable. I've done that before. I was using that because I cut my finger and I had it next to my bedside table. So I was using that as well, but I wanted something with a little bit better ingredients for me. In terms of a lip mask though, I like having it. I feel like it's a little unnecessary possibly. I have tried a neck cream and a neck serum from Juice Beauty. I didn't find them to be remarkable. I didn't see any massive results there. I did used to like, by the way, the Stem Cellular Booster line from Juice Beauty. That used to be a favorite. I haven't used it in a while, but I'll just throw that out there as something you might want to take a peek at. Otherwise, I will link to the other skincare that I've reviewed because there's been a lot over the course of five or six years. So you can check it out if you have something in mind that you're thinking of purchasing. Maybe you can find a review over here to help you. And that's my routine. I really do a minimal skincare routine. And I also think it's important to mention, which is kind of annoying for some of us, but a very large focus for me is the inside out approach. That isn't just drinking water, although that is a part of it. Minerals, things like that, green stuff on my plate. I try not to overcomplicate and I meditate. I meditate. I do 15 minutes in the morning and when I don't do it, I'm a wreck. I walk, I move, I try and get more sun. So the inside out approach to me is just as important as the outside in approach. Let me know what your routine currently is, what you're currently loving. Is it a little bit more complex? Do you love having a vitamin C serum? Are you all about a hyaluronic acid? Share in the comments below, but give some context as well on your skin type, that'll be helpful. And I love having other perspectives over here, as you know, so I really appreciate it. That's the routine for today's video. If you wanna see more skincare, you can watch the playlist that's gonna pop up on the screen. If not, then I hope you had fun. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe so you never miss a thing, and I'll see you right back here real soon. Until then.